What's going on today guys? How we doing? Today I got a little Overwatch gameplay going in the background. We're going to talk about the patch that came out today boys. Uh, Overwatch, uh, from this patch they're, re they're removing the avoid player system with, the, with this patch. And it's now in public testing currently. So the update that you did when you played on the 21st here is now in effect with the remove, remove avoid player system which means that you can or you could avoid after a game you could click to avoid someone who you didn't want to play against this has been it's gotten some mixed reviews because a guy that was the top widowmaker sniper he uh, he played with people and he didn't everyone didn't want to play with him because he's so good and he uh, then had longer wait queues, and he also um, was get. And then once he finally got into a game, he got into a game full of lower level lobby people, which isn't good because you know he got the top widowmaker in the lobby or in the in the game, and he's just railing on these lower level guys. Um, the test uh, also offers a look at competitive play. And uh, there are also some other fixes, but uh, competitive play allows for the more serious experience. You know, you're getting into like the League of Legends and the uh, Diablo, or not Diablo? Why did I think that? Diablo? Um, whatever the hell else are ranked games? You know, oh CS:GO, you know, something like that. I don't know why I couldn't think of any. But you need the ten placement games, like usual, kind of type thing, and then you'll start playing against people at your skill. Um, the competitive play that was available during beta, uh, some changes will be changed to the interface, but other than that, the maps don't, they're changing kind of the maps so they don't favor one side or the other. They've also added a sudden death mechanic that ensures tied games are broken as fairly as possible. Um, in this patch, there are also stricter penalties now for leaving or going idle during matches. Um, you'll now be unable to start a new match while uh, the match that you left is going on. So that kind of sucks. Hopefully they increase the idle time because you had like 5 seconds. like Probably not 5 seconds, but you had probably like 10 seconds to be idle and then they, they would kick you. So unless you can rejoin or what, but I don't know, that'd be pretty dumb if they still have the quick kick time and you can't rejoin because then you have to wait until your match is done, which could be, you know, 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Um, and repeatedly leaving can result in restrictions or removal from comp competitive play. So if you leave a lot, you probably won't be able to play competitive, it sounds like. Among some of the changes too, they made changes to Widowmaker's ultimate. So now when she says her voice line, it can be heard by everyone on the map. So yeah, all in all, the patch should make the game better, you know. Make it play a little better so it's not so one-sided. I mean, it typically isn't, but it also fair, fair out Widowmaker because Widowmaker is pretty cheap. Even though she t is pretty much my favorite champ or character. But, uh, yeah, uh, if you want to test out the new update uh, for PC, you restart your battle net, navigate to the Overwatch tab on the left part, select PTR Overwatch for the region account, drop down, click install, and then once PTR ins is installed, you click play. That's how you test out the competitive. So, yeah, that's how it works. And um, let me know what you guys think about the new update. If you guys like the the no watch or the avoid player system or what you guys think of the avoid player system if it was good if you liked it but uh yeah we'll see you guys in the next video peace